Hey everyone, it's Jenna. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a more casual, kind of decorate with me, clean with me. I've kind of saved up a lot of random projects that I've been meaning to do for a while and I thought it'd be fun to just kind of get them all done today, take you guys along so you can kind of see the organizing process, the decorating process, and there's a couple fun DIYs in there. So our first matter of business is going to be the desk in our bedroom. And you all know how it is when there's a surface, things just get put on it and over time it just gets messy and that's kind of where we're at in there. So let's head in there and I'll show Show you all what we got going on. All right, so this is the current messy desk situation. Um, the first thing I want to do is replace this because I got these stems from Hobby Lobby and while I love them, this is just not the best spot for this because every time I open and close the blinds, it rubs and then sheds all over the desk and it's getting really annoying. So I figured a good thing to replace it with would be this vessel that I got from Kohl's for like $15. I think it really resembles those expensive aged terracotta pots and I want to make it look a little bit more authentic. So you guys saw in my recent DIY vessel video using the chalk technique but I used white chalk in that video and I recently found this tan chalk which I think is going to give it even more of like an earthy look so that's what we're going to try to do and then decorate this and then I'll put some pretty stems from outside in it so it'll just feel fresh and new. I also bought this really cute little accent vase. It was only $7.50 at Michael's. I originally got it to pair with this because I thought the colors went well together and I still might keep it there but I thought it would look okay with this too. So we're gonna work with this. And then I got this really cute little stand from Hobby Lobby for my 100,000 subscriber play button, which we're gonna open later when Mike gets home because he's just been a really good support and I want him there when I open it. Um, so yeah, we're gonna clean this up. Let's get started on this little vessel DIY and start sprucing this space up. Super impressed. 10 out of 10 would recommend the chalk and the vase and I mean this took me five minutes to do. I'm so impressed with this and how it really truly looks to be like one of those authentic aged clay pots that go for you know over $100 online. So we spent under $20 on this and I love the overall look of it and obviously this DIY isn't for something that needs to be really durable or is in a high touch area with lots of water. This is just more so for decorative purposes but I mean you can even still hold it and you know you might need to blend out some fingerprints but for the most part, it's still pretty durable. So really happy with how this came out. And yeah, let's keep on going at it with the decorating. As you can see, I decided to use this vase as accent decor on our dresser to keep the larger vase on our desk because I liked the scale of a bigger vase over there. So I put the little accent vase over here too and I just didn't love the color combo. So I ended up swapping it out for an antique stone bowl that I had collected and some Palo Santo scent sticks. So I wanted to take a little break from decorating and stuff like that. We're gonna come back to it later, but I wanted to do a little bit of baking. I saw this strawberry bread recipe and it's really just like strawberry pound cake, but I thought it'd be really fun to make in these little silicone flour molds that I got at HomeGoods the other day. They were only $3.99 
Wait, actually it was Marshall's. It was Marshall's, not Home Goods, but I'm sure they all have similar stuff, you know? So I have two of these and I wanna make some little glazed strawberry muffins, but they're really like cupcakes kind of. So I think that'll be fun for when Mike comes home to have those already. So we're gonna whip this up and I will link the recipe that I used. I found it on Pinterest. So I will link it in the description as well. Back up. Okay, sit pretty. Oh, good job. Okay, so this is how the little flower mold turned out. And honestly, I feel like it would have been better if I used more of like a cake batter that was totally liquidy. This one was a little bit lumpier, so it's harder to see the shapes and it was harder for it to like fill in the holes perfectly, but I still think they're really cute. And now I'm gonna make the glaze. And unfortunately these have to cool completely before we put the glaze on and I'm like really hungry and these smell amazing. So we'll do a taste test after we make the glaze. just like cake than a muffin or bread. Okay, I've never made this before, but I am giving this a 10 out of 10. Yeah, this is so good. I mean, but I'm seriously just debating eating this whole plate. <laughs> So next it was time to tackle the desk area and I just started by getting all of the clutter out of the way and I took my shedding stems and reused them in a statement vase in our mini mud room coat rack area and that way they're just out of the way and I don't have to deal with the shedding problem anymore. So I went for a little punch of color with my new stems and the pink ones are from Hobby Lobby and the burgundy ones I got at Michael's last fall and I thought this was a really pretty color combo since there was a contrast but they still complement each other and I'm really loving Loving decorating with wildflowers right now just because of how casual and gathered it feels. I love the simple look of these stems and I like that I left the tall vase over in the spot because I think the height it adds looks really nice. And I just added two little olive twigs to my accent vase and Mike had actually just gotten home from work so now we can go open my 100k play button to complete this little desk decorating moment. Ready for the reveal? Let's see it. Let's see it. Do you remember your first subscriber? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is so legit looking. That's awesome. Wow. That's my name's awesome, spelled right. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> Woohoo! Wow. That's awesome. Congrats, babe. Thank you. Hey, you can Look, see you our can reflections. see yourself in the mirror. <laughs> That is so cool. That's awesome. This means nothing to you. No, it doesn't. Is it edible? <laughs> can, I, can I play F-E-T-C-H with it? No, you may not. No, nope, nope, <laughs> you can't be. You can't do any of the above. <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, so the next thing that I wanted to do today was to plant some things for our outdoor patio. We already have like a big planter that I put out there last year and it's held up really well through the freezes and the plant that we put in it was a copper tone distillium. I like it because it keeps its leaves all winter long so it's green and you know sometimes when everything's dead like the grass and all the trees are twiggy and brown. It's just nice to have a little pop of green. So for the summer, I just wanted to have some more rustic plants to accent it with. And I found these little mini olive trees at Lowe's. So they were only like $14, which I feel like is pretty good. Um, so I'm just kind of trying to figure out what pots I want to put them in because I also got this Cooper's ice plant just because it reminded me of the foliage in California, but it's already dying. So. We'll have to see how this goes. But I was thinking I'd put this in the smaller one and then one of these larger ones, I would do one olive tree and then maybe plant the rest in the ground. Or I don't know if I wanna plant one inside for decor and see how it does. Um, I think I'm gonna use this one, but I got these both at Lowe's. I think this guy was 30 bucks and this guy was 45, but I was really impressed with the price of this one just because it's that aged concrete look and it has like kind of a rustic vibe to it and usually planters this big are so expensive so we did have to drill a drainage hole for it um but i don't know i just thought it was a really good deal for something this size so it would also look really pretty if you wanted to use it for maybe the base of a faux tree or something like that and you didn't have very wide space you needed it to be tall and narrow i think this would be really pretty but i think this is going to contrast a little better to the planter that we already have out there so i want to plant these guys and get that all situated So I absolutely love the rustic layered planter look. I've been reading a lot of outdoor decorating books and magazines lately and something I constantly see is pots layered in a space with different shapes and sizes. And I think this really does a lot to add to the ambiance of an outdoor space. So next I started planting this olive tree without really having a plan for it. I just really liked the planter and I'm hoping I can keep the olive tree alive long enough for it to grow into the planter. So the spot I first decided on was our arbor that we put in a couple of weeks ago. And I already have a potted plant accenting the side without the jasmine. So I thought that this could be pretty to add another one to the other side. But I ended up deciding that I liked the asymmetry with just one pot on the side. So I decided to take it out and move it indoors for some living room decor instead. I decided to use this plate from Target as a plant saucer. It was the perfect size. This was just a little salad plate and I already had it laying around the house and I thought it looked really nice and decorative also. So I really love this tree in this spot and I hope it's able to grow and thrive here. If anyone knows some olive tree care tips, please let me know in the comments. All right, everyone, that about wraps up this video. I hope that you enjoyed my little mini decorate with me slash home project day. So I'm gonna head out to my patio and play some fetch with my dog and enjoy my new plants. So I hope you guys have a wonderful week as well and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.